Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve a pyraminx, okay? Now this is a very basic method and won't make you super fast and you'll have to improve a lot on this method before you can get super fast in implementing some speed cubing tricks into this, but this will just be a basic method if you guys just want to learn how to solve it and don't care about speed right now. So I'll mix it up and come back to you. Alright, I have it scrambled here, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to solve these tips right here, okay? Now, it should be very obvious on how you solve the tips. You just turn it until it becomes solved with the pieces right here. So, that part's very easy, okay? Now, the next step that we're going to be doing is we're going to be solving these centers right here, okay? Now, all you got to do to solve these is twist them to line up with each other, okay? So, we want to be looking for this right here. So, we want to get two lined up, okay? So, what you want to do is you want to choose a color, okay? I'll choose blue, Okay, and you want to find two pieces that have blue in common, okay, and you want to twist them so that they're on the same face, and then look at the side colors, okay, and then if they are not solved with each other, you're going to want to twist them down onto this face, and they should become solved with each other, okay, and that will tell you the color scheme and where it'll be, okay. Now, then you want to solve one of the other tips like this, so it's solved with it, and then you solve the last tip like that. It's a very easy thing to do, okay. Alright, the next step that we're going to be taking is we're going to be solving the edges. Now, we're not going to be worrying about orientation just yet. We'll do that after, okay? Now, to solve the edges, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to solve two edges on one face first, okay? Now, to solve an edge, what you want to do is you want to place it in the left slot like this, right over it, and then you want to do these moves. You want to bring it down like this. You want to bring this down here, bring this back, and then bring this back. Okay, and that will put the edge in its position. Alright, the next step that you want to take is you want to take the edge that's here and you're going to want to put it in its position, okay? Now you may need to turn this layer to line it up with the position, okay? So that's what you're going to want to do, line it up with this position and you do the exact same thing that I just showed you before. But if the edge is already in its spot down here, just do the moves in a random spot around them or around any edge. And then what you do is you get this edge, you bring it up if you need to, and then you want to do the same moves. With those three edges solved, we're now going to solve the last three edges with each other, okay? So you want to put them so that they're on one face like this, and you may need to turn one of the tips so that it'll be like that. And then you're going to want to do that algorithm I just showed you. So you bring this down, bring this back down, and bring this back, and then bring this back, okay? And if it doesn't work the first time, do it one more time and then twist this back and then all the edges will be in their correct positions. Okay, now when we orient the edges, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to apply the simple algorithm that I have which will rotate two edges, okay? So they will be in these positions right here, okay? So the algorithm is basically going to be based on the algorithm I just showed you in a couple different ways and it'll flip them. So position them like this and then do this. You bring this up, push this back, bring that back down and bring this here okay and once that happens you then want to do this you want to bring this down bring this over bring this up and then bring this back and that will flip the two edges that are right there now if you ever get the case where you have two edges that are across from each other like this you want to just bring it into their places like this so just twist it like this do the algorithm and then you bring this back so that's how you solve the pyramids here. So hopefully that wasn't too difficult. And let me know if you want me to make more of these. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys on my next video.